Hey, it's Warren. Uh, I'm back on the men's room. I was gone for a little bit. Uh, I went traveling and moving around. Now I've settled in Sweden to start the new, the new year. This week's topic is rude questions. Uh, last week I went to um, like an electronic store called Three, the number three. It's a company here in, in Scandinavia to get internet, uh, like mobile internet for my, my new apartment. And I had to show my old IDs to get uh, service. So I had to show, um, you know, my old driver's license. And since I have not been back to the U.S. Um, since becoming Warren, I have not been able to change those documents just yet. Uh, and somehow the clerk took took it that... And somehow, because I had to show the clerk this information, he somehow felt entitled to ask me rude questions. Uh, the exchange went something like this. He's uh, got my ID in his hand, and he's typing my information, and he goes, So, you're going to go all the way? I'm like, Pardon? And he said, Hey, you're going you're gonna to get a dick. You're going to get a dick gonna go all the way. And I was like, I think that's kind of a personal question. And he goes, Whoa, well, just curious. So if you were gonna go all the way. Because I was in a good mood, I was like just in a good mood and I also struggle with uh, keeping my private uh, information private and educating the public because sometimes I feel like those instances are a chance to enlighten someone and so I, since I was in a good mood and I wasn't feeling particularly dysphoric that day and you know I'm feeling pretty good about the the lower growth I'm getting with tea I just said well the hormones take care of that and he goes oh so it just grows science wow and I was like, <laughs> but, you know, I was thinking about it later, and I was um, talking to some, some trans friends here in, in Sweden, and Sweden recently passed, recently, in, in January, passed uh, a, a new law including gender identity in um, the non-discrimination policies. And I was thinking about it, and I realized that his behavior, since he was a businessman and I was a customer, that behavior was discrimination on my gender identity. And, and he, um, he did provide me the service, you know, he, he did sell me the internet, he didn't ask me to leave his store, but uh, electronics and internet connections are not the only aspect of that business. They are also selling their customer service. And I realized that I am not getting, that I do not get the same quality customer service that a cisgendered person would get. Uh, he would not have asked a cisgendered person any question about their genitals. And I'm pretty sure in the entire time that that clerk has worked there, he's never asked a customer about their genitals. I am pretty sure I'm, I'm the first one. And so why would you add, why would you ask a question, why would you ask a customer about their genitals? That's not professional. Uh, it, and just because I'm transgender doesn't mean he gets to ask. Uh, so uh, to me it was, uh, you know, providing a lower quality customer service based on my gender identity. And so uh, I have to actually go back to that shop because I, I gave them the wrong zip code on accident for my, my address. So I have to go back to change the zip code. And I'm thinking I'm going to talk to the manager about how they need to include gender identity sensitivity training or something and with their uh, clerks because they're not complying with the new law. Uh, basically, he broke the law by uh, asking me that.
because he provided um, a lower quality service to me specifically because of my gender identity. And it's really cool that there's this law. And at that point I really realized the importance of having a non-discrimination law that includes gender identity. It's, it's very empowering. And I think that if I ever get asked something like that again, or treated that way in a store again, I'm going to bring up that law right then and there and say, look, it's against the law for you to ask me that question and explain it. Um, and so that way I'm also increasing education and awareness, but I'm not providing private information about my body. Mostly, I, it's about whether the, the rudest one that I get, and I get it often, is do you have a dick? I, I get asked that almost every time I meet somebody new, I make a new friend, or meet somebody at a party, and I'm pretty open about being transgender, and um, I get asked that, or, or have you had surgery yet? In which, uh, in which case I really like um, Charles and Red's video about rude questions. Uh, so I put a link. Uh, I like the answer. Um, I don't know. Have you had surgery? Because it looks like you'd use them here. <laughs> More important to me is the, the frequency of the question. Do you have a dick? Or are you going to have a dick? Are you getting a dick? When when do you get your dick? That, that, that's another one, the assumed one. So when are you getting your dick? I, it comes in the mail next Tuesday? <laughs> Why? Do you want to suck it? <laughs> I was bartending and it was a customer who's really plastered. Asked, are you a boy, a guy? Are you a boy guy or a girl guy? <laughs> And which to, to which I answered yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I am one of those. Um, I have occasionally gotten asked what um, what my old name was. To which I said, just say I, I don't feel comfortable sharing that. It's more like uh, instead of rude questions, I've I've gotten just rude reactions from people, like. Why would you want to do that to yourself? Or you don't know what you're doing? Or lots of invalidation of my autonomy and my identity. Just people telling me what to do. <laughs> A lot of people telling me what to do. And that's kind of shitty. I have been asked if I can have kids. They were saying, well, at least if, they were talking about um, me and my, my boyfriend, Simon, who's also FTM, and they said, well, at least you know that if you have a kid, it will definitely be a girl. And I was like, what? And they said, because you only have X chromosomes. <laughs> Fundamental understanding of biology and how babies are made. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> I have been um, um, harassed and had my chest grabbed and uh, a guy was grabbing my chest in outside of a club and he was drunk and was like talking to his friend saying hey ask him what he is ask him look at this feel his chest ask him if he's ask him if he's a girl and then his laptop bag was stolen and he ran off and <laughs> he ran away to grab his laptop bag <laughs> Instant karma. I'm glad to be back and I'll see you next week.